Brady's. To that, I want to remind you to appreciate yourself. Appreciate the experiences that you have accumulated over your journey. And find your peace. Whether you see things as good or bad that you may have experienced, find your peace with it. And the more you take that time to appreciate yourself, the more you will see it reflected back to you in the world outside of you. It doesn't have to be by the multitude. But sometimes those shared moments or those uh, one or two occurrences where somebody genuinely appreciates you can go a long way. And you're only able to accept that when you learn to appreciate yourself. Now, in doing, in doing this, it allows those moments of grace to creep in. It allows you to not be so judgmental, not beat yourself up, and not get caught up in validation of others. You just give yourself a chance to fall back. And that's okay. It doesn't matter what stage of life you're in. It really doesn't. Being able to be still, know the divine power that's within you. Let's take a moment to relax with self. Don't get caught up in what you should be doing. Don't get caught up in what uh, others believe you should be doing or the status you should have. And none of that matters. It doesn't. Find the things about yourself that you appreciate. And nourish those. Honor those things about yourself. And only in doing so can you really provide yourself that peace that you so desire. And some may say they don't want peace. But inherently, I'm of the belief that we all do in some shape, form, or fashion. It's not about criticizing anybody else. You just take a moment to be okay with who you are, who you have chosen to be, where you are in life, the things that you have experienced along your journey. There's a, um, there's a status quo. I don't know what it is. It's current day and age. But usually in society, we're always in society, let's be honest. There's a certain status quo as far as... Uh, who you should be, what you're expected to be doing, what you're expected to have possessed, what you're uh, expected to show respect to, what you're expected to comply with. I'm telling you, take a moment to wipe all that away. Take a moment to find the things within you that really make you grateful to be the person that you are. And it's an inside job. Only you can give yourself that kind of validation. And in doing so, congratulate yourself. Show love to yourself. And if there's things you desire to change, hey man, one step at a time. Do those things. But don't do it comparing yourself to others. Simply be you. On my journey, I've seen different... Uh, Different aspects of myself change quite a bit. And now is when I begin to accept who I desire to who I desire to be. Who inherently I always knew I was where I was hiding it. Now I step into it. It doesn't mean I go out and fight the world or challenge the world, no. I just choose what I care about instead of being told what to care about. And in doing so, it has had a tremendous impact on me and also on my surroundings. There have been others that have uh, fought me, given me resistance by the changes that I made for myself. That's okay. I learned to not take this so personal. Yet over time, I began to see that had I not made the choices for myself, they wouldn't have been able to make choices for themselves as well. 
it was almost as if because I gave myself the courage, I demonstrated that it's okay for somebody else to have that courage too. It's a beautiful thing. It's the gift that keeps on giving. But it all started with my choice. It all started with me being able to acknowledge what I wanted for myself, what I wanted to express, and stepping into it. So I hope for you that you do the same. Don't be worried about if anybody's going to acknowledge it, if anybody is going to be inspired by it. Just do it for yourself. Do it simply for you. And those who witness it will witness it. Those who choose to ignore or are not aware of it, well, that's their choice too. And that's okay. But move forward, inspiring the one person that matters, which is yourself. If you have certain things that you desire in this life, that's between you and God. You don't have to tell anybody. Make the choices that, that nourish that idea, that version of self, that concept, that perspective. And enjoy how your perspective evolves. Enjoy the journey that you are taking upon to realize some of those things. And over time, you're going to have to change course. That's cool. But you planted the seed by making a choice. Step into it. Trust it. Don't worry about naysayers. That's why it's between you and God. It's none of their business. Keep moving. Keep maneuvering. Do what you need to do. But things come in their own appointed hour. So whether it be strangers, families, friends, work, uh, religion, environment, land, society, don't get caught up in it. Take time to nourish who you are. Take time to believe in who you are and the power that you have. Because there's always going to be an opposite force. But if you simply trust in yourself and focus on yourself, everything else will fall into place. The problems of today will be the problems of tomorrow if you hold on to them. But the solutions of today will be the solutions of tomorrow if you hold on to those. So make the choice that benefits you. Move forward. Find peace within yourself. Rather than hacks. Don't get caught up in stressing. Many have this idea of uh, life is about service. I agree. But it's about service itself. That's what it's about. And in doing that, you genuinely do help others because when you believe in yourself, others can realize that they believe in themselves as well. They can also see if they're scared or if they're timid. And it's okay. I'm not saying that we have to be fearless. No. Fear, doubt, all that's going to creep in. Whatever. Cool. Acknowledge it. When we go to the grocery store, we acknowledge that there are many groceries. We don't pick everything, though. We certainly don't buy everything. But it's the same thing. Sometimes fear of all come, but man, don't worry about it. Just keep maneuvering. Keep trusting in who you are. And even when the child doesn't trust in who you are, trust in who you know you come from, which is God above, however you believe in God, whatever you believe, I don't care. It's the same power within you. Trust and believe. Make your choices for self accordingly. Everything will work out. I want to say trust me, but more importantly, trust yourself. Be blessed.